Hello, let's consider a scenario. In this scenario, you are the chief technology officer of a manufacturing company and the company is basically producing electronics hardware. Okay, let's say this fictitious company name is Acme Electronics. Okay, so what Acme Electronics does, they produce electronics equipment and you are the chief technology officer giving them technology solutions to ensure that the business improves. Basically, let's say you as a CTO wants to design and develop their electronics retail store. Okay, so essentially what they want to do, they want to develop an online store like Amazon.com or eBay.com so that Acme Electronics can sell all its product online. Alright, and as a CTO, your goal is to create that online retail system all right and let's assume you are like you know you hire some software developer then you um, you know you you consult with different consulting firms and then you come up with a with, with a service which looks like this all right so this is a deployment of your online store all right and this deployment consists of different components like this components down below is database okay and then on the top of database we have something called application apps server and on top of that we have something called web infrastructure like web servers okay and then different clients they are connecting to your web server and connecting to the application server and then to the database all right and these are the clients this is the infrastructure for your online retail this is infrastructure for online retail store all right so let's say you buy the software from somebody then you you know you customize it and you are now all ready to go for production so what kind of questions will, will bother you will give you sleepless night or will make you nervous before you take this deployment to production okay so basically the first question maybe you ask is that whatever this deployment what you're saying is this production ready right so what do you mean by production ready I mean that is the system is fast enough to respond to the users request that means when these users are buy product online are they are getting fast enough response time so that they are satisfied okay so the first thing is that is the system fast enough and then so it's not for one user you know like you know hopefully right now your system is built so that it can sustain one million users okay so basically the second question probably will will ask is that is this scalable enough is this scalable enough to handle one million users say for example one of your database system failed right so basically is this system what about the systems that you're building is it fault tolerant that means if we can uh, like you know, if there is something you know in, 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 some, in some disaster happen then can this system be resilient enough to recover back and you know and, and, and there won't be any loss of revenue or any damaged brand value due to this kind of sluggishness second kind of questions maybe I will I'll be worried as a CTO would be you know here in this in this in this diagram I just put some artificial num artificial number of app server, artificial number of web server, artificial number of database servers and storage and so on. But you would like to know when you want to go real in real life when you go to production, you like to know what are the infrastructure requirement. What are the infrastructure requirement, right? So that means you need to understand you know I also give you a, give you a very artificial number here 1 million users so you need to understand you need to predict what kind of what is my peak load that means in the you know like for example in the holiday season that is where the peak load comes so what kind of traffic I'm expecting to satisfy from my online store okay and also you like to know how many database servers I need okay so how many servers okay and also you like to know that if there are any issues like you know, if there is any scalability issues then you need to know 
the workaround to avoid those kind of scenario from the customers from the on, from the online users okay and also so another important thing is that like no, right now we have doing the business we have 1 million users let's say so how is the rate of growth like in a six months are you do can we handle 2 million users and six months later can we handle so so what is the growth uh, so how fast your your users are going to going to grow so based on that you need to predict the future requirement so future planning is required so the third question that you probably like to know what are my current bottlenecks that means before you really going to production you need to know like you know which you know which part of the system has some issues right and then so that is where you need to know what kind of things you can do so that you, you can tune your existing system so tune existing system so that the existing system will run in an optimized format okay and then you also like to know if something is going to fail out of here which system is going to fail first okay so basically you need to understand about which subsystem to fail first and you need to you need to have some kind of some kind of you know tricks so that you can monitor those system so that before even the user come to know you should able to you should able to know the issue and hopefully we will able to address those issues before any user come to know that means before your like you know failure is going to happen okay but how can you respond to those kind of failures okay so that means how resilient your system is to failure so essentially like you know what i would be worried as a cto of a company when, when, when i'm about to do some production release of a system i would be worried about these kind of questions okay so what i have done here i have just summarized those things here so now here is a question so if you have so many number of questions that you have at least like you know, i am showing you 15 questions but when you are in that hot set you probably will come up with 500 questions so how do you answer those questions okay so what is the answer the answer it depends because there is no specific answer for here now why there is no specific specific answer because in the first place if you, if you look at the questions none of these questions are very specific like you know when you said how fast the system is what do you mean by fast is it 5 millisecond is a fast or a 0.3 millisecond is fast it depends on the scenario it depends on the huge case okay so that is the reason that why i say there is no specific answer to this kind of questions however if you really want to know about your system that means first of all you come up with the right kind of questions and the the art of having bright kind of questions and then then and then solving those things is the realm of performance engineering okay any software product or even you said any hardware product we can do a performance engineering of that product and what i'm going to do in this sets of videos i'm i'm going to explain my experience of performance engineering and I will do small video, I will do short video nuggets, short video nuggets, so that I can probably explain you in a, in, in I, I, will, I will create a playlist. So, so here is my, uh, my idea. What I'm going to do in the next set of videos, I would like to explain you the fundamentals and foundation of performance engineering. And also, I'm going, I'm planning to create an extensive and comprehensive course, so that you can learn various tools that is available right now in market, like HP Load Runner, Apache JMeter, or Neo Load, or any kinds of load testing tool. I will I will I will tell you all those tricks how to do performance engineering in general. Thanks for your time. I appreciate that, and see you in the next video.